So uh, to go a bit deeper, after also we received this information on the usage of SMS in the market, we would like to mm, present what A2P 10 DLC is. And uh, A2P 10 DLC is the new way of sending messaging, application to person messaging. And this is something that was standardized by the campaign registry, which is the authority taking care of this kind of uh, things, uh, market in, in the US. And uh, uh, everything is based uh, on the long code number. But what is important here is that the uh, TCR defines um, things to allow you to have a better user experience uh, in, in the SMS market. And what is important here to understand is what is A2P? So A2P is an any text message sent from an application software to a person. So it's not P2P, which is person to person normal interaction. 10 DLC is the 10 digit long code. We were already talking about this, which is the normal or common local US number. The brand is the company or entity sending the messages. So it's clearly identified. We will see in, in a while this. And campaign. The campaign are the set of rules or attributes that each use case uh, need to uh, report to get content approval. How 10 DLC works uh, is based again on the brand. Brand registration means uh, you would submit information on uh, through an automated process. That's important to say through the, uh, the campaign registry. And here you want to submit company information, industry, business type, website, and your tax uh, ID or EIN. Once you submit those information, the campaign register has an algorithm uh, which is able to calculate what is called the brand score. So what's your uh, score in terms of uh, readability or reliability into the market based on the algorithm of TCR? And at the end of this, you will be assigned what is called a trust score. Uh, the trust score is giving you a throughput. And if you recall, what is a throughput? The throughput is the capacity of sending message per second. So it's important that uh, with, a, uh, with a full, uh, let's say, uh, registered and um, well registered brand you can scale up to 3600 message per minute what if you submit your information and you are assigned a low trust score which means low throughput uh, you can immediately because all this all of this process are immediate um, you can vet your brand so that you prove to the TCR that your traffic and your company are doing things in a legitimate way. And so once the TCR can review the information you provided, can, let's say, change limits and give you a better brand score, uh, which, which means for you a better uh, and higher throughput in sending SMS. So what are the benefits of a proper registration? Uh, here we have the improved deliverability. That's because brand which are uh, proper registered will access routes, specific routes with less filters than non-registered, unregistered one uh, company, uh, which means uh, also uh, a better user experience and company experience in terms of deliverability, of course. Increase the throughput. So with a normal unregistered number, you can scale up to 10 messages per minute. Again, with a full brand register, you can scale up to 3,600 messages per minute. And of course, as we saw before, what is important here is cost. The cost of a 10 DLC number in terms of registration fee and monthly recurring cost 
is very, very low compared to the other. And so it's much more affordable than short call, for instance. Another important thing when dealing with uh, message messaging uh, in the US, so sending text in the US is uh, what is called uh, receiving the consent from the end user, from the customer. And we can mainly identify three uh, cases which are determining the type of consent you may need to start your conversation with the, with the customer. In the conversational one, what's happened is that the user itself is sending you a message to ask, for instance, for an info or to apply for something. And then the company replies to this message. In this case, we have what is called implied consent. So uh, the customer starting the conversation was giving you an implied consent to receive further messages after he, the one he sent, he had sent. Uh, then we have the informational use case. In the informational use cases, usually the customer has somewhere signed the authorization or the consent to receive messages after, let's say, uh, visit one of their sales point or as after doing some kind of activity with that business. This type of messages are usually started from the company and uh, are one way or sometimes two way messages. And these are similar, for instance, to account information for your bank account or your, I don't know, web account, similar stuff. Uh, the last one, which is the most uh, critical, I would say, is the promotional one where you, you need the express written consent or what is called uh, opt-in in for this uh, uh, type of uh, situation where you want to send to your customer promotional messages. Uh, and what, what are promotional messages? Are messages sent uh, to a customer or a potential customer that, again, expressed the will to receive those messages. And usually the, those messages are adding a call to action and prompt the customer to buy something, to do something, to go somewhere, or any way to take a, a, an action. Talking about the best practice, we can move to then to the use cases of the 10 DLC, which again, identify what are the, uh, the, uh, the situation where 10 DLC is required and is allowed because these are the cases allowed in this ecosystem. And as the campaign registry defines itself, this is a new chapter in messaging because this way, so providing those use cases and clearly identifying these, those use cases, uh, we, the, this, the, the authority will build a, a new model to uh, provide a better user experience and uh, to allow company to send messages in an effective way uh, to the end users. What are the standard use cases? Uh, as you wrote in the polls before, 2FA, so notification for one-time password. Uh, this is one of the uh, simplest and most used use case. Account notification, like for bank uh, account or uh, any other type of account information. Uh, we saw marketing, so any type of communication that we see, we, we, we just saw fall into the promotional uh, use case also. Let's, let's call it the same way. And for instance, another of the use case is the polling and voting one. Um, what else? We have also what are, are called the special use cases where you would need to provide additional information when uh, trying to send messages to the end user in this case. And one of these, just uh, as an example, not as the, the, the main one is the political one where for sure you need to provide 
proof or some other information uh, they need. 